So, recently I got a little fairy elf baby and I really wanted to make her a crib. And what else would a little fairy baby need than a very floral and fairy lights and just beautiful bed. So we're gonna make her a crib. Are you guys excited? I hope I'm able to like show you guys and help you come up with some ways that you yourself could also make a beautiful fairy crib. Now let's talk about the supplies we're gonna need for this project. I got almost everything at Michael's, which is a craft store. So I have this mat. It is perfect for the flooring of our basket. It has baby breasts on it and it's not crumbly. Like some of the other stuff I was looking at was super crumbly. So this is the bottom of the map. We're just gonna put it on in our basket, like just shove it down and it'll be perfect. And it's really thick. So it gives her a nice cushiony bed. We have these pretty butterflies for decoration to put on at the end. Then we also have these fairy lights. So at the time of filming this video, it's actually almost Christmas. So they had these which have green wiring, which is perfect for Christmas time, but also perfect to blend in with the rest of our green foliage. And we have a paintbrush because we're gonna paint our basket. Then we have this garland of flowers. It's really long. And I'm gonna wrap this around the basket. So here's our basket. I'm gonna stain it brown in a little while. Then we have some suede lace because we got to attach our foliage and lights somehow. So I figured this would be a really pretty way to do it. Anyways, our first step is we're going to go take our basket and we're going to go stain it a dark brown. So now I'm going to stain our basket. I'm going to use this dark walnut stain. We actually have a bunch of it because we are building bookshelves in my library room and we're using this to paint the shelves. So I'm going to paint all of this and make it a really nice dark brown. Right, that should be about good. I think it'll turn out really nice. I'm gonna let it dry overnight and then tomorrow if I need to I'll touch up on anything but I also might not need to. It might look a little bit more realistic with a few light spots. Who knows? Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, it is a few days later and we're done painting this. I think it looks really nice. It's a little uneven, but I think that gives it more of a natural look too. So let's go bring it upstairs and start working on it. Now, the next step I'm gonna do is take our flooring and mash it down into our basket. I think this is the right way. Yeah, just like this. Now she's gonna have some more really nice and cushy to sit. And it's so pretty, isn't it? It has a little touch of pink since it's kind of our like theme is pink and green. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my garland and I'm gonna wrap it around the basket a few times or as many times as I'm able to. So on this side, we have these openings where I will be able to tie something, but on the other side, I am not. So I'm probably just gonna prop them on this side and then tie them on the other side. So to tie them, I have my suede lace, so pretty. And I thought it was a good like natural color because it'll match this pretty well. So I'm just gonna take a little bit cause any excess I should be able to snip off after I tie. And I will make a couple little strings of this just in case, cause I'll probably need a few. Not sure how many, but just a few. Let's go with three for right now. Next up, I'm gonna take my lights out of their box so they come just like this in the cylinder and they have their battery box. So what I'm gonna do is unwrap these a little bit and put them on our garland. All right, so I have all the lights around them. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Look how pretty that is. I think this is gonna be a gorgeous little bed. So. Next, what we're gonna do is wrap our garland 
around the outside of our basket. So on this side of the basket, we have holes so I can take our string and tie it together. And on this side, I'm just gonna prop the flowers out up onto this and hope it works. All right, here's our nest. I'm gonna turn on the lights and look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna go get Elena, see how she fits in this. I'm so excited, this is lovely. Oh my gosh, I did forget one step though. I forgot about the butterflies. I bought some butterflies to add to our nest. Let's go ahead and put these on. All right, this first butterfly, I think I'm gonna wrap it around the wire I have right here. So gently wrap it. There. Then we can bend the butterfly down so it just rests really nicely on the wire. Now let's do our other two butterflies. They're so pretty. Aw, I really like the butterflies. I think they really add to it. Here's my princess Elena. She has fairy wings. So I'm going to gently place her rings. I know her rings are not attached to her right now. Actually, so let's see what she looks like without the wings inside her little basket because they're getting caught on everything. They just might be decoration. But here's Elena in her basket. She fits perfect. It looks so sweet. She looks adorable, doesn't she? Look at her, she is so charming in this. Oh my goodness. So this is my little tutorial on how to make a basket or a crib for your alternative reborn babies. Or if you're extra careful, this might, and you make it a little bigger cause she is like a micro preemie size. So if you are able to get a bigger basket and more of this fluff that a baby can't eat cause this is not fluff at the bottom. This does not like come off or anything. So if you were able, I think you could probably make this into a real newborn baby photography prop. You just need a few more supplies, like bigger basket and probably maybe at least another one of these mat things to make a bed for the baby. But this was so cool. I really think this is an amazing little crib for her. She is so beautiful in this. Well, I better go guys. I love you so, so much. And I hope you have a great and wonderful rest of your day. Let me know if you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it or comment down below what you liked about this crib and tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and remember to have a safe and wonderful day guys. You matter to me so much. Bye everybody. Say bye Elena.